Even though Pacquiao had over 40 fights and 30 knockouts, he was still struggling to break into true mainstream stardom. The multiple world titles helped only a bit, because boxing recognition is sometimes more about who you've beat rather than the belts you've collected along the way. Enter Eric Morales. An established former champion who brought experience, notoriety, and a large, enthusiastic fan base. But Morales would not be an easy win for Manny the way many fans thought he would be. Pac-Man, originally a 106-pounder, would be making his 130-pound debut. Additionally, Morales was extremely durable, and he'd never been dropped. An interesting challenge for the Filipino wrecking machine. And with only two losses against 47 victories, Morales was not going to be a pushover. And so, Manny Pacquiao and Eric Morales stood eye to eye in front of the ruckus, sold out Las Vegas crowd. No one knew this would be the start of a heated rivalry and spur one of the fighters into a stylistic transformation that would help him dominate an era. The bell rang and both men rushed to the center as if they were late for their date with destiny. Pacquiao's coach, the famed Freddie Roach thought that Manny was too power hand dependent, and he would need his lead hand, his right hand, to beat Morales. And at first, Pacquiao's lead glove looked fast and active, touching Morales' head and body. Both fighters focusing on the body early, but now... But things changed when Morales started to counter Manny's lead hand with a hook of his own. He wants to come back, right? Morales seized on the initiative, careening forward to deal further punishment. But Pacquiao had accomplished a lot in his career without a refined jab, and he managed a rattling body shot that had Morales completely doubled over. But Eric stayed upright and literally fought through the pain, landing decent counters near the close of the round. As Morales wobbles away and then turns around and fires a combination to pin Pacquiao back against the ropes. And Morales' counters and unchecked forward pressure only got worse for Manny in the second round. Pacquiao was failing to control the distance, and Morales was able to jab forward and bully Manny towards the rope. <laughs> maybe a hook, maybe an uppercut, we'll see. It's the left hand that opponents worry about. That was a good right hand by the top of Eric Morales. Right right hand counter Over the remainder of the fight, he would control the inside angle with uppercuts, greatly limit Pacquiao's ability to throw his powerful left straight. Rather than his lead side tactics enhancing his style, Manny was being punished for them. Morales disciplined his new lead hand tactics with accurate counter left hooks. His size on Pacquiao, he I is doing a bigger guy. Good hard right hand by Morales. Pacquiao comes on with the left. Manny resorted to rushing forward with high volume blitzes simply trying to land something of importance, and if nothing else, outpace his resilient opponent. I think in part what's going on here is, you ain't never boxed before, you gotta know boxing in order to see what's happening here. Morales, ever the veteran, ducked down like he was hiding in a foxhole, only to pop up and land stiff counters once the coast was clear. Pacquiao was occasionally finding the mark, but more often than not, Morales' patient, measured, and overall harder counters were winning out. Standing in place and flat-footed as he flurried, Morales had all the time he needed to line up his shot. The fight was still competitive. Patience that Pacquiao was going to come out and tear into Morales and do some serious damage. That doesn't mean he's still not doing well. Yeah, he's doing well. That, I'm not saying he's not doing well, but I'm saying he's in a bad spot right now for, for him. But in the fifth, the pair clashed heads. And a significant cut opened over Manny's right eye.
Although the fight wasn't great for Pacquiao, it got even worse. He looked unsteady while taking numerous hard punches from Morales until the end of the round. The fight in circles, Manny Pacquiao's right on. As we follow Pacquiao to his But though the cut wasn't ideal, Pacquiao didn't seem blinded by it. And through the sixth and seventh, he clawed his way back into the fight. He knew the cut could get bigger. And if they stopped it now, who knew what the judges would score? He needed a stoppage, and he was fighting like it. Make a note of what happened early in the round so that he doesn't forget. I have to fight even at three rounds apiece. Pacquiao's coming out a lot stronger this round than he had in the last pre in the previous two rounds, I mean. So he may have found something. Pacquiao may have determined that he's able to fight with his eye in that shape, and that rekindles some of his will. Gives him the energy that he's shown in the early part of the round here. He's definitely won the first half of this round. Now Morales starts to counter. Great left hand by Morales stops Pacquiao in his tracks. Right hand wobbles him again. Morales senses a chance. Pacquiao comes back. Gotta be careful about letting your hands go against Pacquiao. But Morales feels strong now. By round eight, Morales had had enough of Pacquiao's growing momentum. Morales responded to every landed shot with sheer rage, looking to give back twice as much damage. And this was exactly how Pacquiao responded when he was hurt. The two became raging inferno, and when they met, they created a fistic firestorm, bringing the already exuberant crowd to a fever pitch. Right now. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Few rounds in boxing history get as good as this. Can't stand to be hurt. Few fights get as good as this. That's a true, that's true. Pacquiao just doesn't stop. Pacquiao lands another straight left hand. Morales oh, instantly tries to come back again. This has turned into a good round for Manny Pacquiao. Parts in all the chaos, Manny lost his mouth guard, but seemed more annoyed than anything that he had to pause and stop fighting. Morales was in many ways trying to recreate the success Marquez had had against Manny, using similar tactics. In that fight, Pacquiao had managed to outscore and tire Marquez by dragging him into long exchanges and getting the better of him in later rounds. But this was not working on Morales, who welcomed the long exchanges drag them out even further by Morales. and prove the more accurate punch to be more active and more dynamic in the 12th round if he's going to create the knockout he appears to need by the 12th it was clear that Morales could sail to a decision if he managed to stay safe for the final three minutes but Morales didn't want a safe victory he wanted to leave no doubt who was the better boxer so Goading Pacquiao even further, and perhaps looking to humiliate him, Morales switched to Southpaw. Hoping to prove he could fight better than Manny in his own stance was a reckless move that provided a glimmer of hope for the fading Filipino. That's a big one. I don't know why he would fight Pacquiao. Why in the world would he switch Southpaw? That seems dumb to me. Manny turned that glimmer into a golden opportunity and a chance 
for a knockout. Oh, oh my God. Talk about Through wild exchanges, Pacquiao walloped Morales again and again, but Morales held firm, welcoming the punches if it meant he could prove his point. Although he retreated to Orthodox for just a moment, he returned to Southpaw just as quickly. See, he just stubborn. He just means he's not going to Both fighters, as well as the sold out crowd, were on their feet as the final bell sounded. Nobody is going to ask for their money back. <laughs> Morales earned the unanimous decision, and it wasn't at all controversial. Freddie Roach's read on Manny turned out to be correct. While his explosive power shots and special attributes brought him multiple championships, he still lacked in certain basic tactics, easily exploited by quality opposition like Morales. Manny had come so far, but he still wasn't a complete boxer. However, what would happen if he were to become one? Boxing squared circle is unlike anything in sports. Each competitor puts everything on the line. If it were a poker game, Every fighter would go all in with every hand, and the winner doesn't simply gain the spoils of war, they're taken from their fallen foe. However, no fighter truly leaves empty handed, because even the loser takes something. The experience of the bout and the lessons of a loss. Most champions are not undefeated, they just knew what lessons to take from their early missteps, and they had the drive, determination, and skill to implement the changes they needed to make. It is that cycle of refinement that creates champions. Great fighters can do this over time. Legends seem to do it overnight. Pacquiao's dominant win over his next opponent showed a refined, two-handed approach. Well, right hand. There's the hook. I did a little and he's more. And Manny, a great finisher. Let's see if he can close the show. Uh, left hand, right hand. And the finish was kicked off by the lead hand. Tough to get him out of there. Wow, wow. Oh, oh. He's got to get up. He has He's to beat go. the count. He has to beat the count. It was a fortunate sign for the 2006 rematch with Morales. Takes Eric a little while longer to get over to the center ring for final instructions from Kenny Bayless. Hey, gentlemen, touch gloves. Good luck. What a throw for From the start of round one, a blind man could see this wasn't the same Pacquiao. His jabs didn't only set up bullish power punches. His patient shot selection and in and out movement helped him to control distance and maneuver That's around the ring. Three different weight classes. One of the great talents of our time, Eric Morales. And Manny Pacquiao, one of the most exciting boxers of any time. And very composed the way Manny's coming out. I'm surprised to see the discipline. And he hadn't just refined his own jab. He was punishing Morales', flipping outside, and connecting with solid, intercepting lefts down the middle. He had also learned how to use his hook that was finding its mark when Morales came in strong. Morales craved a war, hoping to continue the firefight that had closed out their first encounter. Counter punching for Pacquiao. But Manny was no longer planting down and staying in place while exchanging. He was constantly moving, and he knew when to pick his shots when to throw, and when to evade. One thing to remember, though, is Pacquiao now has been... Oh! Left hand! Left hand Morales Big left start. hand for Morales. I don't know how he stayed up. Right hand for Morales. Right at the but end. Pacquiao couldn't deny his nature forever, and it's not like Roach was looking to turn him into an outboxer anyway. So over the next several rounds, Pacquiao would sometimes box, and sometimes brawl. Sometimes because he'd gained an advantage. Blows. Nice combination there for Pacquiao. Case in point. 
and other times because Morales had managed to pull him into one. El Terrible found flashes of great success with this. Final seconds. Took it right on the chin and took it well. But it seemed that whenever Morales was building momentum, he was stopped cold by a hard retreating oh, hook. To fight. Hard shots by both fighters. Just a few stinging punches from Manny's lead hand, changing the course of entire rounds. In round six, Manny switched things up. To such an extent, it was most likely advice from his corner. He focused on leading with his stunning left hand. I have Manny Pacquiao up by a point. Pacquiao coming on, back up. Left hand for Pacquiao. Countering Morales' jab repeatedly with damaging shots, Manny was free to enter with more aggressive attacks. Morales looks very insulted. Yes, he's a proud man. Hard punches. Now Manny's unleashing. The final 30 seconds was nothing short of an onslaught. What a round six for Pacquiao. This is Pacquiao's biggest round in the two fights. With Morales nearly stumbling over as the bell sounded the round. Oh, and saved by the bell, and there's no pun intended there. <laughs> with his jab diminished, Morales had little choice but to crash forward with long combinations, hoping to clip Manny with a winging shot. It is absolute pandemonium inside this arena. I don't think I've ever heard anything like what I'm hearing right now in this arena. This is a sheer out war. So much pride. But Pacquiao filleted his ribs with bone-bending shots to the midsection. Morales has been in many of these. Though his iron will held strong, Morales' ever-durable body was beginning to crumble. Right for Morales. There you go. Manny Speed counters. Pacquiao's added a few dimensions to his game. That Morales has. We're in the eighth round, and this is far from decided, folks. Morales' great fights have been in fights where he's perceived as having a great challenge. Nice left hooks, right hooks with Manny. And he's, he's taking Freddie Rich's advice and answering with a lot of hooks. Coming up with a lot of big hooks. That's another one of those intangibles to talk about. He has a great mind for this sport. Both of these fighters are intelligent fighters. Executing their game plans is another thing. And oh, vicious body attack by Pacquiao. In the 10th round, it betrayed him. Pacquiao caught him walking into a huge counter hook. For a moment, Morales stood in place, throwing back as if on autopilot. But a follow-up from Pacquiao sent Morales stumbling to the canvas. He stepped inside at a deep angle, obscuring Morales' vision with the jab and then replacing his right glove with his left. When he got back up, Pacquiao swarmed. Oh, and a beautiful combination. Down goes Morales. Oh, 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 oh the fight is over. The referee called the end of the fight. Clearly this was a new Manny Pacquiao, a complete fighter with all the prerequisites to take on the world. But it hadn't been a complete shutout, and no doubt Morales would want revenge on the only man to ever knock him out. Las Vegas, Bob Arum's top rank incorporated is proud to present the grand finale, the third and final chapter in one of the great trilogies in boxing history. The world was just as eager as Morales for the rubber match, and what they got was fireworks through a double barrel shot directly into their eyeball. Immediately, the difference was shocking. Manny had ascended to a whole other kind of boxer. Beyond leveling up stylistically, Pacquiao had grown into his weight class, the extra muscle only seeming to bolster his power, speed, and stamina. Morales struggled to cope with Pacquiao's hyper-polished toolkit. 
His counters were more varied, and he added punches onto them, retreating with full-on combinations. His feet were even more agile, and he could turn on a dime. Moving in to deliver hard leather, before leaving in an entirely different Tonight. direction. Round two, scheduled for 12. There's a little jab and a combination for Morales. And don't count Morales and Savvy out. And we'll start back fighting. All of these factors added up to a knockdown in the second round. Morales charged forward with furious shots in a wild exchange. Morales' legs collapsed from underneath him. Ever the warrior, he answered the count and charged back into the fray as if he was the one that just got the knockdown and was looking to finish off Manny. The two went absolutely mad in the closing seconds of the round, hurling potential fight enders like it was nothing. The punches are coming so fast, there's a left hand from Pacquiao. It was a left hand that did it before. Oh, and oh. a beautiful combination by Pacquiao. And Morales has got to keep his head moving if he wants to stay in this fight. And another combination. A nice landing by Eric Morales. And this is not the sort of fight that Eric Morales needs to be in. But in the third, Pacquiao proved it had been no fluke. And he's a little hurt. Those legs look a little wobbly. Yeah, that was a strong left hand. Pacquiao going to the body. Then back up oh, to the right hand. Shot. That goes Morales. Pacquiao covering up. Have you ever seen a heart Once again, it was the lead hook counter. No time for a poker face. Morales stumbled to the ropes, and Pacquiao swarmed. Morales managed to escape, but Pacquiao chased him down and landed the closer. Morales sank near the rope, but somehow got to his feet. And he needs to hold on, Alan. He needs to hold on. He needs to hold on for this round. Incredible. I can't believe he survived this round. Incredible. 30 seconds, a long way left in this round. And Danny Pacquiao teeing off. Pacquiao leaving himself wide open. Morales doesn't have anything to counter with. He's trying to survive. Now he jabs and backs off. He made his heroic last stand before getting dropped one last time. Hurling forward and lifting his back foot far off the canvas, Pacquiao hit home with the left hand that came from a mile away. Again, he's down. He simply looked to his corner and shook his head. The difference was now too vast. He was no longer fighting a man, but a boxing legend. For anyone who had only seen this one fight, It'd be hard for them to believe that Morales had ever bested Pacquiao just one year prior. What Manny Pacquiao proved with this trilogy is that challenges aren't meant to stop you in your tracks. They're there to make us grow. Failure doesn't have to be an endpoint. After all, a loss is only a loss if you learn nothing from it. Sometimes, a fighter can only learn by getting caught in the heat of battle and getting burnt. A tough loss that serves to expose the holes in their game. That's exactly what happened to Pacquiao. He used the struggles against Morales to achieve one of the fastest and most significant skill progressions in boxing history. The Morales loss probably becoming the most important lesson in his career. In boxing, as with life, sometimes we need a push to make the necessary changes and become something greater. You can check out my books on techniques and tactics linked below, and our martial arts comic book, Mortal Weapons. And be sure to come chat with me on Discord. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training. Pacquiao's coach, the framed Eddie... Eddie? He'll read whatever on the teleprompter.